Katika kipindi kilichopita tuliweza kusema ya kwamba three state of matter can be interconverted without changing the composition of the substance. Tukaona ya kwamba solid can turn to liquid and liquid can turn to what you want and liquid can turn to gas. Lakini tulisema vile vile gas can turn to liquid. Gas can turn to liquid. Gas can turn to liquid and liquid can turn to what? Ga to solids. Kijana anazidi kufahamu. Lakini mimi leo nataka kueleza kuhusiana na physical and chemical properties of matter. Physical. Mm. Physical and chemical properties of matter. Chemical properties of what? Of matter. Lazima tujue kwamba kitu hiki kina sifa gani bwana za kifizikali ambazo zinaweza kuonekana na za kikemikali ambazo zenyewe hazionekani bwana mpaka chemical eh chemical process lazima itokee ndio tuweze kugundua kwamba hiki ni kitu gani naona bwana kwa tunavyosema substance are identified by their properties kwamba substance hmm? substances are identified identified by what by their properties by their properties substance ya mfano wa maji ili useme kwamba haya ni maji utakapoyaona utakapoyaona inabidi uyaone na sifa kadhaa kadhaa ili awe maji au vivyo bwana lakini hivi ndio hii ni plastic utakavyoona plastic lazima ujue kwamba hii ina sifa kadhaa na kadhaa ndio maana imeitwa nini imeitwa plastic na utakapoona chuma au iron inabidi inabidi uone na sifa kadhaa kadhaa ambazo zitakusaidia kuweza kusema kwamba hii ni nini hii ni hii ni iron lakini vile vile zipo zipo substance ambazo tuzioni mfano wa mfano wa oxygen gas eh mfano wa what mfano wa oxygen bwana hatuioni inabidi tujue lakini kwamba tutajua vipi kwamba sehemu hii bwana ina oxygen hmm? tutajua vipi bwana sehemu hii bwana ina kitu fulani kwa tunasema physical property can be measured and observed without changing the composition or identity of a substance umbe kwa tunavyosema physical property physical property hmm? physical property or physical properties Hmm. Are those properties ni zile sifa are those properties hmm. Hmm. that can be oh that can be measured are those properties that can be measured that can be measured can be measured hmm. and observed and observed without changing without changing mm, the composition the composition without changing the composition or identity or identity of a substance mm. Hizi ni zile properties ambazo zinaweza kupimika can be measured lakini vile vile zinaweza zikaonekana can be observed without changing the composition or identity of a substance mfano wa maji bwana huu ni mfano wetu ambao tutatumia sana kwa sababu ni mfano ambao unamwepesha kijana kuweza kuelewa concept unafahamu ya kwamba maji composition yake ni H2O H2O kwa maana ya maji kuna hydrogen mbili one molecule of water has two hydrogen and what and one oxygen atom au vipi bwana sawa sasa physical property ni property ambayo tunaweza kuipima bila kubadilisha hii composition bila kubadilisha hii composition na ndio maana sasa kwa sababu tumesema tunaweza kuipima bila kubadilisha composition lakini vile vile kwa sababu inaweza kuonekana hiyo physical property ndio maana kitu cha kwanza tunaweza tukasema kwamba ni color color physical property ya kwanza tutataka kugundua kuhusiana na rangi ya kitu ni kitu kina rangi gani bwana tukitazama maji tunaona kama haya maji bwana 
maji haya ni colorless haya na rangi kwa ukiona kitu ambacho ni colorless kitu kimiminika kama kipo katika state ya liquid alafu ni colorless akili yako kitu cha kwanza ambacho inaweza kudhani kwa hayo hayo ni maji bwana hayo ni maji kwa nini hayo ni maji kwa sababu umeona properties yake ambayo nini ni kutu kuwa na rangi kwamba ni colorless mm? colorless kwamba haya na rangi naona bwana umetazama kitu cha kwanza lakini je kimiminika kikiwa ni colorless ni lazima kiwe maji tunasema hapana kimiminika kinaweza kuwa ni colorless lakini kikawa bwana tazama ni colorless kimiminika kinaweza kuwa ni colorless lakini kikawa kikawa si maji kwa hivyo kuna properties zingine ambazo ni physical inabidi tuzigundue ili tuweze kuthibitisha kwamba haya ni maji na ndio maana kuna kitu kinaitwa melting point au labda boiling point kwanza na boiling point boiling what boiling point mfano kimiminika chako umeshakiona na baada ya kuangalia rangi uka, ukaanza kuhisi kwamba haya labda itakuwa ni maji au vipi lakini bado haujathibitisha ukadaa kugundua na boiling point yake kwamba haya maji ama hiki kimiminika ni kikichemsha ni kikiboil kitaenda mpaka katika temperature ngapi katika temperature ngapi kitaanza kuboil na sisi tunafahamu ya kwamba maji yana boil at what 100 degree centigrade kwa hivyo hiyo kimiminika chako kwa maana hiyo liquid yako utaanza kuweka katika sufuria yako hmm? liquid yako ipo hapa bwana utaenda kuweka katika sufuria na utaipiga moto utaipiga moto utaipiga moto at the same time una record temperature bwana na thermometer yako una record temperature na thermometer yako unaangalia bwana unaangalia eh temperature inaongezeka mpaka wapi na sehemu gani bwana haya maji yataanza kuboil ikiwa kimiminika chako hiki kitaanza kuboil at 100 degree centigrade unazidi kupata confidence kwamba hayo uliyoyaona ni nini hayo uliyoyaona ni maji kwa hivyo kwa sababu boiling point it can be measured without changing the composition of a substance ambayo kwa hapa ni maji kwa sababu maji ukiya boil hayabadiliki bwana from H2O kwenda kwenye kitu kingine still yanabaki kuwa ni maji na kwa sababu hiyo tunasema boiling point is the what is the physical property lakini physical property nyingine ni nini physical property nyingine bwana ni melting point melting melting point kwa makumbi melting point nayo ni physical ni physical property kwa sababu gani kwa sababu tunaweza tukaipima kwa sababu tunaweza tukaipima bila kubadilisha composition of a substance lakini vile vile freezing point it can be also what a physical property freezing freezing point can be measured eh yeah. hivi vitu vyote bwana vinaweza kufanya nini vinaweza vinaweza kupimika kwa tunasema kwamba physical property ni property ambayo inaweza kuonekana inaonekana lakini vile vile inaweza kupimika bila kubadilisha composition ya kitu lakini vipi kuhusiana na chemical property what is the chemical property man kijana nataka kujua kuhusiana na chemical property sema chemical chemical properties eh chemical properties are those properties eh ambazo ili ziweze kuonekana lazima chemical change itokee bwana are those properties tunataka kusema are those properties mm? are those properties in which in which chemical change in which chemical change chemical change should be carried out should be carried out hmm? in order to be observed in order to be observed kama chemical change chemical change ni zile properties i mean chemical properties ni zile properties ambazo eh lazima patokee na patokee mabadiliko ya kikemikali hmm? chemical changes should be carried out in order to be observed mfano wake ni nini bwana mfano wake ni hydrogen gas when it's burned in air or in oxygen 
tunafahamu ya kwamba tunapata H2O. Eh? Hydrogen gas tukichoma moto. Mm? Maana yake tukiunguza, tukiunguza, tunapata nini bwana? Tunapata maji. Kwa hivyo kama umegundua, angalia composition ya hydrogen gas. Angalia composition ya oxygen. Hiki kitu kilichopatikana ni kitu ambao this is a compound. Ni bwana, this is a compound. Mm. Kwa hivyo kumbe chemical change ikitokea composition inabadilika bwana. Kwa hivyo kitu chetu mwanzo kilikuwa nini bwana? Kitu chetu mwanzo kilikuwa ni hydrogen gas tulivyokichoma moto kika turn from hydrogen gas into what? into maji. Composition inabadilika. Sio tena hydrogen peke yake. Sasa hivi ni hydrogen na nini? Na oxygen. Something new. Sio tena oxygen peke yake bwana. Sasa hivi ni hydrogen mbili na oxygen na oxygen moja. Maana yake nini? Maana yake composition imebadilika. Kwa when hydrogen gas burning air to form water, we call it as what? We call it as a chemical, chemical change ambayo hiyo inatusaidia kwamba kueleza kwamba hii ni chemical what? Chemical property ya ox ya hydrogen. Kama chemical property ya hydrogen ni nini bwana? Chemical property ya hydrogen it burns in air. Mm? Na it burn in air inaenda kutengeneza maji. H2 Mm. Hydrogen gas burns in air. To form what? To form water. That is a chemical change. And your substance is formed. Like any chemical change in Guinea, Boil the egg. Mm. When we boil an egg, boiling an egg. In a pelican, any one. Hii bwana inapelekea into chemical chemical change. Chemical what? Chemical change. Kwa sababu gani? Ukilitazama lile yai, hmm? Yai kabla haujalichemsha ukilipa suo utapata nini bwana? Utapata ile liquid yake na kile kinini na kile kiini. Au vipi bwana? Lakini ile yai ukilichemsha baada ya kulichemsha ukilipa suo linaanza kuwa gumu gumu maana kuna kuwa na nyama nyama huko nje nyeupe lakini vivi katikati kuna kuwa na nini bwana kuna kuwa na kiri labda cha njano mm? still an egg lakini chemical change imetokea na mara nyingi chemical change ikitokea haiwezi kuwa converted into the original state by physical by physical means mm -hmm. ili ni yai kabla ya kuwa boiled lakini hili ni yai bwana after boiling limechemshwa Mm. Sasa hapa chemical change imetokea na ndio maana hivi vitu vya ndani vimebadilika hali zake ikahamia katika hali hii. Lakini kitu ambacho tumekifanya hapa nini bwana? Tumeboil. Ku boil is something physical. Tumeboil. Mm. Tumeboil. Je, yeah. hiki kitu kipi ambacho kimepatikana? Tunaweza kukirudisha. Tunaweza kukirudisha katika original state. Tunasema hapana. Kwamba kitu mfano wa yai ukisha kiboil hauwezi na kurudisha katika original state by physical means kwa sababu gani kwa sababu that is a chemical change okay kumbe chemical change ikitokea bwana haiwezi kubadilika kwenda into original state by physical by physical means kijana anazidi kufahamu kwamba chemical change when chemical change happens When chemical change happens, it can't be converted into original state by what? By physical by physical means. Na ndio maana vile vile hatuwezi tukabadilisha maji kutoka katika hali yake ya maji kwenda katika nini? Kwenda katika oxygen na hydrogen by what? By physical by physical means. Kwa sababu hiyo ni nini? Hiyo ni chemical chemical change. Kwa hiyo tunatazama properties of matter. Cha muhimu ambacho tunataka ukifahamu hapa ni kwamba properties of matter ziko za sampuli mbili inaweza kuwa physical property physical property ni property ambayo inaonekana unaweza kuipima na vile vile change yake yale mabadiliko yanayotokea 
hayabadilishi composition ya kitu sawa kwa physical property are those properties that can be measured or observed without changing the composition or identity of a substance sawa ni zile property ambazo zinaweza kupimika lakini vile tunaweza tukaziona lakini vile vile zinatokea bila kubadilisha composition or identity of a substance ndio maana ikasema mfano kwa maji maji hayo bwana unaweza ukayabadilisha kwenda katika ice unaweza kutoka katika ice kwenda katika liquid water lakini still composition yake haijafa nini haijabadilika sawa bwana sawa lakini chemical property are those properties in which chemical change should be carried out in order to be observed eh? or to be manifested ili tuweze kudhibitisha ili tuweze kudhibitisha lazima tuone chemical chemical change should be carried out na mfano wake bwana ni hydrogen gas when it burns in air hmm? when hydrogen gas burns in air tunapata maji bwana composition imebadilika sio tena hydrogen sasa hivi ni kitu gani sasa hivi ni hydrogen and water kwa mwanzo palikuwa kuna molecule mbili za hydrogen hmm? molecule mbili za hydrogen mwanzo tulivyozichoma na molecule mbili No, mwanzo ilikuwa molecule moja ya hydrogen gas ambayo nini ina atom mbili za hydrogen. Eh? Hii tunaita molecule. Tutakuja kuona baada ya molecule ni nini. One molecule of hydrogen gas hydrogen hydrogen gas has what? Has two hydrogen atom. Ndio hizi bwana. Bwana, hii kachomwa na hydrogen na, na oxygen gas. Uh, oxygen molecule hii tunaita oxygen molecule utakuja kuona baadaye oxygen i mean molecule maana yake nini oxygen molecule sawa so, eh? kwa hiyo chemical change ilivyotokea bwana hapa baadaye zikabaki nini baadaye kabaki baadaye kabaki hydrogen mbili lakini vile vile oxygen mmoja kaja kukaa hapa vikao ni vitu vipya bwana vitu vitatu kwa maana hapa vilikuwa vinne lakini huku tunaona vikao vingapi bwana vitatu kwamba kitu kipya kimetengenezwa sawa na hiki kitu kipya hakiwezi kurudi huku bwana kwa physical kwa physical methods unaona bwana ya yeah. kwa hivyo hizo ndio physical and chemical properties of what and chemical properties of matter